It all comes from the legs, and if you add momentum to it, you can fly without really trying, you know? Boom! You cover a lot of distance, and it's very efficient. Hello! Jorge Masvidal is one of the most intriguing characters in the world of mixed martial arts. Even in the way he speaks, there is no anxiety. It's as if he's always comfortable just being himself. He has that air of respect for others, but at the same time is always ready to fight anyone. Like the snap of a twig, if someone else is down, it'll just happen like that, no questions asked. There's always something very charismatic about individuals like this, not because of their inclinations towards fighting, but their overall authenticity, their comfortable disposition when expressing themselves. When you aren't anxious, afraid, and are not overthinking reality, especially because you are confident in your ability to handle whatever happens, it's just easier to be yourself. Nonetheless though, here, Jorge Masvidal highlighted a few things about his jump knee. He makes it look so easy, but you can tell, the technique alone would cause some damage. Arm that technique with ferocity, intent, and a running start, boom. We should note how Jorge Masvidal has started rushing in like this as well. Perhaps he took a page from Miyamoto Musashi. When you decide to attack, keep calm and dash in quickly for stalling the enemy. That could be what he's doing here and you can tell he even got a reaction out of Nate Diaz. That's one thing we can note. Watch. He wasn't even looking for the knee. Jorge Masvidal would rush in to trigger a reaction, shooting up his opponent's nerves, and at the same time, leaving that subtle tone of uncertainty as the fight continues. Here's one thing I didn't notice though when Jorge was sharing the knee. It's a hands down style before moving into a running start. And note how, also, when he teaches that the hands guide you. More hands. Let your hands guide you. Like if this leg is faking, you gotta you gotta go on short, you gotta whoop. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. He actually has the hands in reverse. In actual execution, his hands guide him from the sprinter's form, alternating between the hands and legs. This is what's used to pump more momentum into the knee. Shaquille O'Neal did a different variation of the technique. He threw it with a clinch, but also by pumping the arms down, this too worked as a counterbalance to increase the overall force of the strike. It's a devastating technique all around. When the correct body mechanics are implemented, the damage Captain Falcon would do, landing one of these is starting to make a lot more sense, isn't it? Forget the Falcon punch. When you consider the density of the knee paired with the body weight behind it, Falcon's signature, it had to be a perfectly timed knee. If you like more from me, please subscribe and hit the notifications. Thank you if you did. It truly does mean a lot to me. Thank you. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. It's Karma, and until next time, peace.